What's up, Madden NFL 13 gamers? Steve Varls here from MaddenTips.com, author of the official Madden NFL 13 Strategy Guide. Today we're going to show you tips on how to utilize Colin Kaepernick as the full-time starter in Madden NFL 13. Many gamers out there were already using Colin Kaepernick in select packages. They knew that his 79 overall rating was a little bit lower than Alex Smith, but they liked his 86 speed, 88 agility, and 88 acceleration as a way to keep defenses honest. But the key rating for Colin Kaepernick, besides his 88 elusive, is his ability to throw the ball downfield. Those athletic skills are great, but they don't mean much if you can't throw. Thankfully, Colin Kaepernick has a huge arm, and his 93 throw power allows him to get the ball downfield in stress defenses in another way, vertically. His deep accuracy is very similar to Alex Smith along with his medium. If you're new to Kaepernick, of course you have to worry about his short accuracy rating, but don't worry, our video will show you how you can utilize his arm and not feel much of a drop off from Alex Smith. Yes, there are some areas where you have to be careful and not use too much pass lead, but we have special plays to certain receivers that will allow you to move the ball in the short passing game with no worries. All right, gamers, the first play we like to come out in is from the near formation. The play is called Texas. The key to this formation is it allows Colin Kaepernick safe throws over the middle of the field that don't require too much pass lead. By subbing LaMichael James in a halfback, we can move Frank Gore to fullback and give ourselves a full arsenal of runs. This will benefit the 49ers no matter who is under center. The extra attention paid into the backfield will be very valuable for Vernon Davis, who can now get free along the sideline. A key tip here is the further the throw is away from the middle of the field, the less pass lead I put on it with the left stick. The next formation that I like to utilize is the single back bunch. My favorite play is tight end angle because of the dual routes that cross over the middle of the field at different depths. First you want to look for Vernon Davis as he's going to be a big target that's a safe throw over the middle. A tip here is to put Frank Gore on a block and release route that will clear out his defender from the middle of the field. The next thing I look for is the drag route going across the middle of the field for a quick game if the defense blitzes or I need a big pickup on third and two. To utilize Colin Kaepernick's legs as a threat, I like to go to the formation gun doubles on and choose to play read option. At the snap, you can continue to hold down the button to hand off the ball to Frank Gore. The key is to read the defensive end, number 50, on the right. If he stands up, hand off the ball. Don't try and keep it with the quarterback if he stands up. You will not get a good result. Once he gets frustrated by the run and crashes down, keep the ball with Kaepernick by letting go and get upfield for big yards. Don't forget to cover up. For my full audibles in this scheme, check out www.maddentips.com. We also have another special bonus play from the spread formation gun empty tray. This will teach you how to throw deep with Colin Kaepernick and utilize that throw power. Z Farls from www.maddentips.com. Lock up.